Andrew coming back at you today with another super tuning video. Today we're going to be super tuning a Luz uh, speed spool. It's the plain old speed spool, the $100 model with Boca bearings. These are the Orange Seal ABEX 7 ceramic Boca bearings brought to you by Boca bearings. So, first things first, let's start off with what you need. Uh, obviously, you'll need bearings. I'll put a link to these down in the description below. You will also need a Q-tip that's been cut in half to remove the uh, the bearings from their wells. You'll also need a pair of uh, tweezers with a really fine kind of needle point um, to help you get those spool retention pins. And last but not least, you'll also need a pair of spool pin pliers. Now, these, these pliers are the ones that Boca Bearings makes. Um, if you are planning on super tuning any of your reels, um, especially if you're planning on super tuning multiple ones. I really recommend that you invest in a pair of these pliers because the last thing you want to do when you are replacing that last bearing is to uh, bend your spool pin because um, then you're going to be responsible for you know basically buying a whole, uh, whole new spool um, because you didn't take the time and make the investment in a pair of these. So um, buy some of these. Don't hammer it out and don't pull it out with a pair of regular uh, regular pliers, okay? So first, we're gonna do a baseline test. It's like the last one, we've got the spool tension all the way down and the magnetic brakes all the way down as well. So this is just your standard baseline. Um, these bearings have not been flushed. They're just the standard stock bearings um, and the spool is loaded with a 50 pound Power Pro and a bit of fluorocarbon leader and stop. Okay, so that's what you're looking at basically out of the box. So let's go ahead and get started. First things first, we're going to unscrew the pin that allows access to the side plate. Okay, and the first bearing we're gonna replace is this one right here. Okay, so inside this well, you've got the bearing and you've also got a hexagonal um, uh, bearing retention pin, excuse me. And what you're going to use the tweezers to do is basically to get in there and pull that retention pin out without it flying everywhere. Okay, so there it is. Hope you can see that. Um, I put mine on a towel just to make it should make sure it doesn't go anywhere, and it's pretty high, pretty high visibility. I know it's not going to going to wander off. Okay. So next, we'll take our Q-tip and pull the bearing right out. There it is. We'll take out our Boca bearings. Though th this one that we're replacing here in the side plate is one of the three by 10 by four bearings. That's those in this bag. And then this is the five by 11 by four bearing, which is the one that goes on the actual spool pin. So we'll start over here. Take one and All you do is just pop it back into the well, and your magnetic brakes may grab the grab at the steel casing. So um, just pop it down in there. They don't have to be facing any certain way, and you just replace the bearing retention pin as well. It gives you a nice little audible click, just like that. Be sure that it's underneath that lip, and the first one's done. Next up, take the spool out of the reel, okay, and set it aside. The next bearing we're going for is the spool tension bearing. So we'll take off the knob, and right in there is the second well. This one has a circular pin, um, circular bearing retention pin, so I think it's a lot more difficult to get out. Just grab it with the tweezers and pull out. There we go. There it is. Put it down on your towel. Take the Q-tip, insert and pull. There we go. And this bearing is also three by 10 by four. So it is the smaller of the two. It's the last small bearing. Pop it right in. There we go. And replace the pin. like we did on the side plate. So 
So you just put it underneath that lip and you kind of just press down until it gets in there. There we go. Place the spool tension knob and this one is done. You're at two out of three. Now for the difficult one. I say difficult. It's not really difficult if you have this tool, but if you don't, it is miserable. So take a look at this. What we've got here, um, this is the spool pin that I'm talking about right here runs up and down this way okay so this side is fatter than that side and i hope you can see that that it shows on the video what we're going to do when we take our spool pin pliers we're going to stick it over the uh the spool axle like this and what we're going to do is we're going to stick the fat side into this well and push the skinny side which is the bottom side with that pin okay and hopefully it just pops right on out. So line everything up and apply pressure. And there we go. You may need to just grab it with the pliers to pull it out. There we go. Nice. So don't lose that guy. So there's the bearing we're trying to get at. And there it goes. Place that over to the side. Take the final bearing, five by 11 by four. This was the large bearing, largest in the pack. Slip it right over top and we'll stick the pin back inside. Now, getting the pin on there is a little bit different than how we took it off. So on the pliers, you'll see kind of these shorter wells over here and the longer wells. What we're gonna do is we're gonna take the pin, right, which is facing up, and we're gonna put it basically inside those short wells and squeeze so that it pushes it back in and half and half on each side. So let me get this situated here. Do this so you can see it, hopefully. Might be a little difficult. There we go. So you just line everything up and you give it a nice little squeeze. And there you go. You're done, just like that, nice and easy, okay? Replace the spool, replace the side plate, screw everything down, make sure it's tight. And now for the, um, the Boca bearings speed test. Okay, so the first thing you'll notice about Boca bearings is that they're a little bit louder than your standard um, stainless steel bearings. That's because they're ceramic. Uh, the noise really doesn't bother me, um, but if it bothers you, there's something you can do, and I'm going to show you. There we go. Um, basically, what you can do to fix that, if it bothers you. It doesn't bother me. Um, this is the um, high-speed lightning lube uh, that Boca bearings makes um, for their um, performance fishing reel bearings. Um, basically, um, as I kind of move this around, you'll notice that that bubble is moving really quickly. Um, that's because this is very low viscosity oil. So it will, while it will um, decrease the bearings performance just a little bit, you won't get that kind of free spool time. Um, it will quiet the bearings down. It doesn't really bother me, so I'm not going to be applying this. Um, but just know that this is available to you and I'll post a link to this as well at the bottom of the page. So I hope you've enjoyed this video, um, this install of Boca bearings into the Luz speed spool. So until next time, tight lines.